This video shows how the numeracy processes are connected in the student choice component. In the student choice component, you will choose two out of four extensive constructive response questions to complete. Having worked through the earlier questions on each situation, you will have a good idea of what will be asked as these questions are based on the same situations. Answering an extensive constructed response question will involve interpreting, applying, solving, analyzing, and then communicating your solution. You will need to give detailed explanations, justify your thinking, and present your math solution in context. You may want to construct diagrams or graphs to clearly communicate your thinking. Extensive constructive response questions are kind of like the grand finale of the whole situation. It's like putting everything together. For this question, we have to figure out which sales team should get the bonus. Explain and justify your solution. We'll need to look at the sales report again. Calculate the phones sold for each sales team member in April, and then sum up each team's total sales. To do this with the information provided, we might need to make some assumptions, and these should be shown in our work. For example, Let's calculate the number of phones sold in April by Gabrielle, who is on Team C. Gabrielle sold 4,113 phones last year. We assume that she would sell 4,113 phones divided by 365 in one day. And then we multiply this by the number of days in April, 30, to estimate how many phones she sold that month. This gives us 338.055 phones sold in April for Gabrielle. You can't actually sell fractions of a phone, but since this contest might be a close call, let's round it to three decimal places just in case. If we calculate the phone sold in April for each sales team member, and then sum up each team's total sales, it looks like team A is the winner. But we need to consider all the information in the sales report. Remember, each sales team also has a different number of sales team members. To be fair, we need to take this into account. We could divide each team's total sales by the number of sales team members in each team. According to this approach, Team B should get the bonus because they sold the most phones per sales team member. Just remember to explain and justify your solution. That's it for the student choice component. Thanks for watching.